Want to know what this place was like? Talk with Chuck Velasquez. Really, just ask him. My head is full of memories because I grew up right around here, playing here, right around the corner is a home that my father built and with my uncle. It's where he spent his young years. It's where he found lifelong friendships and where his family made a living. If I may say so, my sister had two grocery stores in, in town, one that said in the front on there, if we don't have it, you don't need it. In the town of San Isidro, 80 years ago, Chuck says, there was a pool hall, there was one drugstore. With the swivel stools on there, where our druggists used to make the best malt shakes and uh, cherry cokes. An annual fiesta parade down the main street, a strong social community built around church, big dances at the Civic Hall where everyone was welcome, and it seemed like just everyone went. Everybody knew everybody. Uh, you walk by a house like that, howdy, and go over, shake your hand, walk over there and you say hi and shake their hand. And it was just something unforgettable, really unforgettable. And one more thing to know about the San Isidro of back then, there was, right in what was the heart of town, a public library. And though there is a new library now, the old library building is still there at 101 West San Isidro Boulevard, and here is where the mystery is. Because out here on the front lawn, up until about 1953, there was something very important to the San Isidro of that time. It was very close to, maybe just a little to one side of where that palm tree is now. So we pretty much have evidence that it was right about there. Yeah, but then it just disappeared. Where did it go? Uh, that's the million dollar question. Jack Getcher has been looking for answers to a decades long puzzle. I've tried asking uh, people at the city and the county and many people and nobody knows. Nobody knows what happened to this, a memorial, their war memorial that marked the sacrifice of so many of those San Isidro kids who in the 1940s grew up and went into the military. Here is one of only two known pictures of it and it had a list of 147 men and women that served in the armed forces of our country during World War II. That much is known, but the thing is exactly who they were. There's no record of their names, except the ones you can make out in this one picture. Because the other picture, remember I said there were two, the other one shows a young woman. When she was a teenager, there's a photo of her in front of the war memorial with all the names taken down. Yes, the names were taken down, and shortly thereafter, so was the entire monument, and with it, an important tribute to San Isidro's wartime sacrifice. Jack is himself a Marine, and for Chuck Velasquez, it's very personal. Yes, I have two brothers that are named on there, uh, Alfredo and Adolfo. Adolfo has a star by him, because he didn't make it home. This is not a casual pursuit or a bit of historical intrigue for these men. It's a part of their lives their families, their community that's just gone. And there's several around San Diego County and why they took ours down, we just don't know. He's devoted countless hours trying to find out what happened to San Isidro's war memorial, but now there's an urgency with every passing day. We wanna get it rebuilt with help from the city of San Diego and uh, get the names back up there and display and honor those men and women from World War II that served from San Isidro. All these years gone by, all the faces of youth, the friends made who are now gone, soon who will be left to remember those of them who went off to World War II? When we talked with him, Chuck Velasquez was closing in on 89 years old. And I think they deserve recognition just as much as other towns or areas recognize their uh, young men that went and fought for the United States. Jack Getcher worries that the months and years have been going by and time is running out. And uh, we're trying to get it done before our generation uh, disappears because we're the kids of the greatest generation from World War II. So was it put in storage? Is it somewhere in somebody's basement? You can sense their sad acceptance that in the end, they'll probably never know what became of their town's memorial. But for their sake and for the sacrifice of so many of their family and friends from the San Isidro they remember, may there somehow be built a suitable and lasting memorial that pays tribute to them all. For that they truly deserve, and that would indeed be a wonderful ending to this story about San Diego.
Hello from the front porch. If you enjoyed that video, click on the subscribe button and then that way you'll know when there are new videos just like that one to see.